So I made a new jig, which hopefully brings me closer to the final um, dimension. Instead of having to use that uh, wheel here to get to the final size. And here I'm cutting roughly away the corners and then going gradually down to get it round. Kids, don't try this at home. My fingers are pretty close to the blade. Where is my blower when I need it? <laughs> Maybe I should speed this up when I make the final video cut. I will stop the video and then continue after I'm getting closer. So that was the initial cut. And I'm gonna skip one. So what I'm doing here, this pin is moved to the left which makes the disc smaller obviously it's a very tiny step and i will see if i'm gonna get to the 28.5 <clears throat> millimeter that i need It didn't sound like it's cutting anything, huh? Maybe I need... Am I going the wrong direction? Yeah, you know what? I am. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I'm designing it like this because I'm going to print it like this to have this on the top. And this is actually, you can see it here, this hole is closer to that. So I am already at final size. If I turn this around and could put it on here. Uh, I'm not touching even the blade. So, <laughs> let's see what we have. Maybe we have the final dimension. Oh, well, you know, slightly under. That's fine. Too much under, I know. But uh, that was just actually my last resort. Uh, I know I did it too much on here. 
so technically I have to start with this hole and then go to this maybe to the third one from the bottom so but doesn't matter I have plenty of these nice carbon fiber plates and I actually resin printed a dial which obviously does not look good at all and but it would have been nice if it would come nicely so it would be a translucent dial being able to see the mechanical movement of the uh, yeah of the movement <laughs> but I will use this to put over here and then cut out the day week and date window by hand at least get the rough shape and then file it down and that way it will not be covered I know the bezel ring I did not glue it down here yet does look much better but it but hold on, put my hand over here. You see how it looks like, and I really like it. And I might just not put any dots for the hour. Just cut the the window, and then I will see how it will look like. Um, I have also to align the chapter ring. I think it's the chapter ring that's called. That's the bezel insert. Obviously, I did not glue it down yet. I should. And I have to align the chapter ring inside because it's a little bit off. And then, once I have the cutout for the date, I can also get that perfectly aligned like I want to. And then it should be well it will be finished before the other dial comes in and um, we will see so while i have the camera here so this is the one i showed you this was just a straight cut and here i have a second one with a beveled window i don't know if you're gonna be able to see it Since the height of the dial is very little, you and the, the resolution did not come out right. But I also did some markings for the 12, 6 and 9 o'clock positions as you can see here. But the dial actually looks nicer on the back where it has this brushed finish. On this side it looks kind of bad and I don't know why the hole did not go through but this is just experimentation and I still like the carbon fiber dial better so let's see how it turns out so I just took the template and uh, drilled for three holes in it and now comes the fun part to get it all smooth out it smooth out and uh, into a rectangular shape and then we will see how it will look like okay it's coming along after using this as a template I did drill three holes two millimeter holes because the cutout window according to Seiko Seiko is two by seven millimeters and uh, that's where I'm getting now using a tiny uh, metal file and eyeballing it to get it as close to a rectangle as possible. Still a little bit to do and after I'm finished that I will put it into the watch and then we can see the 
weekday and the date and I cannot wait for it and this is it the blank I showed you too many times right I just can't get enough of it and I really like those di uh, hands I really like them plain simple beautiful so and I'm having a cup of coffee maybe I get somebody to buy me one little cup of coffee for this video we'll see so I think I'm so far done with the dial this is just with the eye measurement and when you're actually filing on this since I have the twill we uh to will read will read whatever the diagonally going carbon fiber your eye gets uh, confused about straight lines so this is what i came up with again this is just a more or less a test to see what it will look like let me just get a drill bit to Clean up that hole a little bit, if possible at all. Not that it will be visible, but just for good measure. And this time I will. use double-sided tape this is very thin and we will see what we can do so I don't know if I should do it in sections or if you want to watch this whole thing here's again the watch band and I like how it is just the opener pressed on one side as I said before it's not milled it's stamped uh, stamped steel but for the price it's absolutely okay and I don't mind the little uh, that it's not quite aligned to the case I will eventually might get another watch band maybe somebody will offer me uh, the funds for it so let's take my 3D printed case opener. And I'm sure you have seen this many, many times before. But anyway. You unscrew the crown. I'm sorry if you can't see it. I cannot see anything here either. I have to look through my on the bottom of my phone. Obviously, it's much easier if you ha don't have that watch band on there. But I could not wait and had to put it on. And that little tab that you have to push. It's really hard to see. Where is it? I cannot see anything. There it is. If it's in a shadow, you cannot see it. There you go. Get the crown with the stem. And there is a spacer ring that came with this case. Let me take that out.
some people might cringe. You're going in with the metal thing in there. But believe me, it's not that... Um, how are you called? Not that sensitive. Okay, here we have the gasket. Movement doesn't want to come out. I know what it is. It's the slightly too big carbon fiber dial that's holding the movement in there. Let me go in there with something softer. Am I embarrassing myself? <laughs> Come on, little guy. There you go. It dropped out on me. So, this is the NH36 movement. We put the stem back in again. So we can actually get the <coughs> watch stop moving. You know, it is really difficult to make this video if you have the phone in front of your face. Okay, second pull. I can hold the time. And then we use a piece of plastic. Although <clears throat> it's not that critical on this watch dial because it was an experiment which worked out great. Out of the way, get my Rodico. Okay, now comes the part, I would say not bad at all, that's a 3.8 position, and it's definitely not covered, The whole, I mean the opening is big enough. And that white will go also nicely with the with the white of the hands. So now I have to obviously glue this dial to the movement with double sided tape and I will just use use on two spots that will be enough to hold it. Once it's in the case it will not move by itself anyway so what I want to do here is see and those chapter rings and don't mind those uh, tabs that are sticking out like crazy I will fix them but even like that they do not hit my wrist so anyway there is <clears throat> I'm talking here like I'm a professional in watchmaking but guys it's easy just buy the some tools that you need let me put this on a lower power there's right on the top on the 12 o'clock position there is a notch and there's a um, tab 
for the chapter ring to be aligned and it's all the way to one side and I will try to move that I don't know what I'm gonna use for hmm, let me see if I can move it with the radical ah ha that was easier than thought so uh, I wasn't know in the picture but you can see there's a slight movement if I would make that I would make that with less movement so <clears throat> I think I have to go all the way to the right to have it centered but we will see about that later on I'm glad that I can move it at all so was picky as I am and I think all watchmakers are a little picky they want this to be as perfect as possible so now let me move this camera a little bit lower it's gonna be harder for me but might be easier to see for you move this to the side and we do cut two tiny pieces of this double-sided tape and if you're not interested in seeing all this stuff which might be boring for some people I don't know do let me know in the comments and I will uh, adjust my videos accordingly I just need a very little tiny bit of course has to be careful not to catch the date wheel that's it I think for good measure I will make three Oops, here I am. Sorry about that. The thing holds pretty good. So I'm not worried about the dial moving at all. Am I in the picture? Yes, I am. And one more. That was pretty slim. But it will be fine. And I'm sure tomorrow. Well, actually, no, it's not gonna come tomorrow. No, this week. And after I make this mod, I doubt that I will use somebody else's dial instead of mine. So, now I have to get this centered and uh, glued on there. For that, I'm going to use a watch movement holder. I also 3D printed one but with that I cannot push from the bottom I have to pull from the top which I don't like I will probably either enlarge the hole or make another one with this I can just push from the bottom to get it out of here because otherwise it's pretty snug on here so now I have to move the camera away otherwise be, I have to look, be able to look from the top so I stop the video and then start again so I'm back again um, since I made a mistake by when I cut this the round uh, by using it was a spiegel forget it was mirrored the, oops, the drill holes 
so I'm slightly under the size of 28.5 millimeters and I'm not sure if it's going to be covered by the chapter ring or if it will show so that we have to find out but now we have to put the hands on there and it's in the clock adjustment mode and I'm moving forward to change the day and then stop exactly on when it flips to the next day and the slower you do this the more precise you get No breathing does help. <laughs> That's it. Now I have to figure out where the 12 o'clock position is since I do not have um, an indicator. So, and this is really kind of difficult task to do through a phone lens uh, screen so I ever so slightly push it on there I think it's slightly to the right I mean, you're splitting hairs here. And then we push it down. And then we try and see what happens. The day week changes between 2 and 4 o'clock in the morning. First to the secondary and then to the main um, day you have kanji japanese and english and i promise myself i will learn the days to tell them in japanese let's see Well, it's slightly to the left. I have to push it a little more to the right. I technically now I have to look for a 90 degree angle between the hand and the date window. And I try to align the carbon fiber to be like that, diagonally. So. Now I'm not sure if I could just push this a little further or if I have to I think I have to take it off again and do it Let's see how far we are off And since I'm actually not sure if this Yeah, it's, I know it's, it's, you know what is bad? If you're picky, it's really bad. Sometimes I wish I would not be picky. I could just leave it as is and move on. But no, I am picky. So... And, I mean, the style doesn't have indicators for the hours, so who cares? Who cares? I do. Okay. 
No, that's right. Once I have one of them, it will be easier to adjust the minute and the second hand. Well, the second hand you don't really need to, but just for good measure, I will kneel. I will do that as well. So, start praying. It's still a tiny bit. I have this too to do that. Sounds like a vacuum cleaner. You know what? While I'm at it, I will try one more time and then leave it as is. One more time. There is a movie, right? A uh, movie song. So, folks, thank you for sticking around. This might be too much. And that uh, the diagonal dial and the 3.8 position of the crown really messes up with your perception of 90 degrees. But whatever it is, I will leave it now. Because nobody's gonna sit oh. <laughs> around the 12 o'clock and see if it's spot on or not. I think it is. It does play tricks on your mind, but we will leave it as is because I might do this again if the edge shows from the dial, and I may be. I might add some loom on that. I don't care that much about the logo because this is my watch. It might have Seiko movement. I really have to be delicate with this. Can you see me? <laughs> My hands. It's not on there yet. Just for good measure. Oops. I told you it's not on there yet. Radical to the rescue. Well, now I have to align this again. <laughs> Did I just flip over? I looked at the time on the video. Oh no, okay. Okay, another try. Just so I can see what I'm doing. And if I'm talking too much, let me know. And I 
quite topless. Mm, it's not quite where I want it to be. But it might be already. I wonder how um how precise you can see with your eye. I really love those hands. And I saw some beautiful dials with uh, dragons and stuff. And I do like dragons. And uh, I don't know. I will end up making more watches than I thought I will, I think. Because you cannot always take them. I mean, you can, but... <laughs> Take them apart and put different dials on there all the time. Okay. Obviously, too far to the left. But if you go faster, you see, the faster you go, the further it advances the hands before it switches. The slower you go, the earlier it switches the time. So you have to kind of find out for yourself how far or how fast you want to turn that rotor. Yeah, it's a little bit 1 minute 30 seconds too early. So let's try to push it. And if that helped, or if I actually pushed the hand, I am pushing the hand but you know what I will leave it like that I will not take it off again just push it down a little further if it goes and you have to check for alignment so the hands won't touch each other which right now they would and you can adjust that with your pushing tool actually the our hand is a little high let me try to push that a little bit down Yeah, they are not touching each other. So let's put this on 6 o'clock because for the second it really doesn't matter since it's a so called hackable um, hackable movement, which means when you pull it out all the way, the second stop. And that way you can adjust the time down to a second or so and this is I mean <laughs> dear watchmaker you really did a great job but why so tiny why so tiny I mean there's a pin in there oh, you can't even see that here it looks like a hole but there is a pin in the hole and you're supposed to get that pin in here and 
and please excuse me for any background noise and you kind of hoping for the best and pushing it down hoping that you're right on the spot and we have movement it's facing a bit up let's align that you know what would be the worst if you think you pushed it down and you assemble the watch and then on the first knock <laughs> this hand falls off And I think I slightly did bend that and for that I will and just for measure I'm not scared about actually the the dial because I can make that again this is a guitar pick that because I think I'm on there correctly sitting on there and I'm holding it at an angle to push the second hand down it's still sticking up a bit and uh, it's very hard to apply the pressure because you don't really know how much pressure you should apply i like the second hand i, I like the hands period but i like that second hand <coughs> excuse me so without further ado we can just do a last test for good measure oops I saw that it got stuck here okay we have to lift that up As you can see it's always good to see if the hands are touching each other if they're running into it kind of, it's uh, now I see see how it's like that instead of this and uh, we will try holding on to it and bending it ever so slightly. Uh, you really need some hands that are not shaking at all and my hands do shake a bit. Oh, well, that did it. And I'm afraid once I get the dial that I paid for, now it's a little bit past. If I go slower, it's gonna be earlier. But let's leave it like that. Okay, because I cannot wait to see it in the watch. So now I can push on the bottom without yanking on the dial. Oh, and full. I did touch the second hand. That's still okay. It's a little bit 
facing the moon. So anyway, now comes the part where you have to pull the rotor out. Just put it in here. No, oh, and uh, if it's in stop mode, you cannot see that little tiny dimple that you have to push down and let's see it's right there I mean <laughs> somebody had a lot of patience designing this and uh, this is amazing push down and then you can pull out the stem And then get that watch out there, the movement. Let's try with this. I mean, you could do this much faster. If you wouldn't have to look through the phone display or if you would wouldn't have that phone in front of your nose blowing everything away from the table so now what did i do oh yeah it doesn't it's not gonna move so now comes the mating part and let's try to see if the chapter ring is still where it's supposed to be and also check for any dust particles I think it is as far to the right as it will go. Don't drop that because you have the rotating rotor on the back. Okay, before I go further, let me check real quick if I have any dust particles in there there's a tiny dust particle but i think it's on the outside i mean you need like eyes like a hawk you know they can spot mice from i think 1.5 kilometers away Yeah, there's a should I leave it should I not no I don't leave it there's a tiny dust particle in there and you have to use clean rotical otherwise you do smudge it Sorry for hitting the phone all the time. And for what measure? I just wipe down the glass. Sapphire. With an anti reflection coating. There's a little haze in there. 
Alter. Do you hate me by now? This is not for the faint of heart. So check if the chapter ring is still. Uh -huh. It had moved a little bit. So. Sorry. I am out of the picture. Okay. I really cannot see anything here. When you have no fingers free, you blow with your mouth. Has to go a little bit. It does kind of center itself once you push it in. Yeah, well. And now, just go ahead. And get that ring in here. Otherwise the movement was sitting loosely in there and uh, going back and forth in this position up and down and this ring does hold it and it did come with the watch case so no problems there and I know I have that oiling thing for the gasket which I will not do right now and I also would never put these into water even though they're waterproof I just don't like the idea of having water go in there in between the links and whatnot so let's take put this on here for a second and make sure my back window is clean Sorry, I'm just wiping it down with a microcloth. I think the back does not have a coating. And I want to order a um, diamond uh, tester. That you can use to test and see if it's uh, mineral glass, regular glass, or sapphire glass on the top. And this particular one has a doomed sapphire coated, anti reflective coated glass. So, all that wiping, and I still have some smudges but it's of course important to get to remove any smudges from the inside just wiping it down here Why? Why am I so picky? Okay. Let's leave it as that. 
removing a potential dust particle. And I will next time take the bracelet off and do this without the bracelet on, which makes it so much easier, you would not believe it. And it's very nice, fine um, threads on there. No grinding, no funny noises. Okay, are you still with me? That's gonna be a long video. That's gonna be a long video, I know. And I have to find it also. Glue that bezel insert on here because I keep it keeps falling off. So um, yeah, let's move that hands a bit so we can see the. Day and I see the window is too big or it moved a little further down because I can see underneath the two I can see the top part of the next two so um, we have to go at it again one more time but let me check that Oh, it's not glued on. That bezel insert seems to be in the correct position here on the next to 23. You can see it in the three clock position. Oops, well, sorry. I wasn't in the picture. Ah, that's a pity. I didn't check for that, I didn't hold it like that. Yeah, well, I looked at it through the phone. And if I look through the phone, I, f I look like that and I don't see that. So, um, anyway, I will leave it for now. Because I will wait for the other dial to come in. And see if it's gonna look better than this. Which I know it won't. And um, let's get this past the 23 and see where we are at 24, I know. Yep. You have to go past 4 o'clock or 3.30. To settle the day week and the day yeah that dial has to go a tiny bit counterclockwise well anyway I will stop the video here and it just bothers me I will take it apart I won't show you that take it apart try to move the dial a little bit and see where I end up with and then Glue down the bezel insert and call it a day. Well, 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 what do you know? After taking the dial out, the, the movement out three times and adjusting it for that tiny bit of the thing that you could see. You could see it like that, but not when you're watch when you're looking at the watch. I mean if I hold it like that you will see it. If I hold it like that you will see the top part. Uh, I might have made the opening a little bit larger than needed but uh, this is it from this plane with the opening for the day week now I know what weekday it is you won't believe me I forget so many times I have to look it up and uh, is this beautiful or what? Now tell me if I should put the yellow dial in here that I ordered. Well, I would, I will put, oh, uh, not yellow, orange, orange dial. 
and uh, it, uh, it would be boring to make two carbon fiber dials, right? So I will put the orange dial in here and have the white left over for another possible build if I can find a case that I like. And I did glue the bezel. This is the class which one-sided opening. And uh, I like it. I don't know if I'm gonna even, well, I probably, you know, what they say, curiosity killed the cat. Um, I will have to see how the other dial will look like. But uh, what do you prefer? Something you made or something mass produced? I like what I make better than what's mass produced and this is one off there's unless somebody takes 3k 12 weave carbon fiber shiny side up drills a hole goes through the trouble to drill the date day window and use a file to make it square this is a one off one in eight billion people have this watch I do have it it's mine and um, as much as I like the idea with the uh, uh, 3d printed resin I mean I do like it and it would look good on a skeleton watch so who knows sky's the limit right and I'm surprised that you're really limited on watch dials. There are not that many out there. I did find a company that had one with an uh, attitude indicator and altimeter and whatnot. I wrote to them twice. No response. I guess they don't need my business. But I might make it myself one day. So... Also, this is the orientation that I did take with the dial and you could have it like that or have it like that. So you have actually three positions that you can have this in, three or four. And um, I kind of like it like that. And this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, sapphire has a blue tint looks like purple now but it's blue and uh, the loom is not bad at all I tried it last night I put it next to my nightstand and instead of sleeping <laughs> laid there and watched the seconds go by and the minutes but anyway Tell me how you like it or not. If you hate it, put a thumbs down. Make you feel better. I'm I feel better if I put thumbs up and if I get compliments and whatnot. I was just gonna say what is this left over? It's uh, from the double sided tape for the bezel insert. And I will not get another bezel insert. I like this matte and uh, shiny and this was the idea of it, the black one I wanted to have it blacked out and then I saw these hands and um, liked it so um, I will fix the ears there that are sticking out they don't touch my arm but uh, they don't look as nice so I will fix those and um, now I have a new watch to wear. I like it. Anyway, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And uh, you know what I say at the end of every video. You know that already, but for those that are watching it for the first time, please do like the video if you do like it. Um, if you want to support me or 
if you want to see more videos of other things coming up um, hit the notification bell uh, subscribe button and the notification bell and you can hit that thanks button below if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or through PayPal or become a Patreon and check out my uh, Tindy store maybe we we'll find something that you like and I will have the affiliate links for the bracelet, the case, the watch movement and all the other, yeah, other th stuff in the description and if you want your own carbon, real carbon fiber and made and cut and drilled let me know and I make you one um, that's it for today thanks for watching and take care everybody